In today's video, I am going to be breaking down different fast break plays that you can run with your team. Definitely send this video to every single one of your players because these are strategies that they can use every game. Let's get down. Let's check this out. So first, we're going to start with a two-on-one situation. And what you would like to do is, actually, there's a few different options that you have. Obviously, there is the basic, which is, of course, player one just attacks the rim. And if player one tries to cut him off, he can just pass over to player two. Obviously, that's a basic option, and that is what most players generally do. However, there are more advanced strategies that you can actually run. Number one is... Player one can cut across the key roughly around the free throw line, if not just a bit higher, and player two will then go down the middle of the key. What this is going to do is, by cutting across the key, that's going to draw the defender with him, and then when player two cuts down the middle of the key, that's when player one can send a pass or a drop pass over to player two for the layup. Another option that you can have is players 1 and 2 can pass back and forth with each other until player 1, red, commits to one of those two players. As soon as that happens, that last pass will be a layup. Now an option that we see teams like the Golden State Warriors use is instead of having these players cross or try to disrupt what player one, the defender, is doing, what they'll do is have the player without the ball leak to the corner, player one attack the rim to draw that defender to him, and then they do a hammer style pass out to player two for a three-point shot. While all of these options are possible, Let's check out what a 3-on-2 or a 3-on-1 situation could look like. Really quickly, make sure to go check out my unbeatable basketball zone defense if you want to be able to trap the corners and double the low post without leaving any players open. The link for that is down in the description below. In a 3-on-1 situation, it's very easy. Player 1 just needs to attack the free throw line. And then, at the free throw line extended, we want to see players 2 and 4 cut towards the rim. There's a strategy behind this because player 1 will pass to player 4, and obviously this could end up with a layup, but player 1 will then commit to player 4, and player 4 could just pass to player 2 for the easy layup. Kind of a quick tic-tac-toe play where, of course, you get an easy basket. That's our whole main goal. However, there are more advanced strategies to this play and that is having player two leak down towards the corner player four setting that screen and player one using that screen where he can attack the basket get the layup or if player one is able to sneak through that screen you can kick it out to player two for the three-point shot while i do understand there are some coaches who disagree with a three-point shot on a fast break they are quite useful to gain momentum if you've got a player who can actually hit them or uh, you've, you're on a, you're at an advantage anyways. So if you're on a three on one situation or a three on two, you could probably be able to hit that or take that three. And if you miss, you're already at an advantage at, of players in that key where you can just get the rebound anyways. Now on a three on two situation, I really like being able to do two different things. And of course there's the basic of what we basically just talked about, which is cutting in from the free throw line extended, pass, he takes first player, pass, layup. Obviously that's just a very simple and what every coach teaches, but you can actually get more advanced. And it's a lot more fun if we start looking at plays like this, where, for example, player four cuts across the key, takes player one with player four, player two is leaking down. Instead of being a straight line cut, he's going to take more of a curve, and player one will then get the drop pass back to him. This draws player five up, and then you can pass down to player two for the layup. Obviously, that is a more advanced strategy, but so is this next one. Let's say player two is a fantastic shooter. You can actually have player four set a screen down, player one attacking the high post, and player two using that screen, and then player one kicking that ball out to player two for the three-point shot. And at this time, you've got two players on two to box out and get the rebound if player two misses. However, the other strategy with this two is this, where when we set up, let's say we've got two players trailing, everyone else is kind of like coming back on defense, 
And when we have, in this case, player two setting that screen for player five, player four uses that screen. If we can get that pass out there and these players are trying to recover back on defense and then let's say player two or player three red comes down and tries to play defense on player four if we're in transition we can set up our five out in transition then after we get that pass to the corner after player four popped out there if we have another player who's coming down to the wing we can make that extra pass for the three-point shot here and out of a fast break a very simple play that could be a quick hitter is a quick pass and cut style offense with the five out make sure to go check out my complete guide to the five out offense down in the description below Another option too is player four can set a screen for player one. Player five will still cut down from the free throw line extended. After player four sets that screen and player one uses that screen, that's going to draw player two out. And this could be an easy pass to player five for a layup. Or what could happen is if player one comes down to protect the key, player four can stay there and potentially be open for a 15 foot jump shot, which would be super easy to be able to hit. Or in this case, player four could pull it out and set up the offense one or the other. So make sure to go check out my unbeatable basketball zone defense down in the description below if you're looking for a fantastic zone. Or make sure to go check out my complete guide to the five out offense also down in the description if you're looking for an easy, fast offense. I hope that you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys again next time.